Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. My name is Siti Aisha Abdullah Suhaimi from Kibuji Healthcare University. My uh, clinic of uh, study as well is uh, Kishia Kaur and also uh, Dr. Izzidiha Kamal. So our title of uh, research is Effectiveness of Metal Artifact Reduction for Orthopedic Metal Implants in Computed Tomography Emission Construction, which is a phantom study. Right, as introduction, computed tomography or so-called uh, CT scan is a preferred technique for pre-assessment and also post-assessment, especially for the operative complications, pathologies, and also post-operative follow-ups. All right, when involved with the uh, implants or automatic implants, we call it uh, to actually um, uh, be scanned after after done the. Uh, post-operative, uh, some uh, uh, appears um, as an strict artifacts in the image. Eh? It could um, degrade the image quality. This is due to the uh, high uh, density of the metals that causes photon starvation, increase in both mean energy transfer and also scattered radiation. It also degrade the image quality due to the metal artifacts that cause excessive beam attenuation which renders the diagnosis as well right that's why uh, metal artifact reduction metal artifact reduction so we call it as mar algorithm has been introduced for improvement and also comparison purposes and also improvements so this study is to investigate how the mars affect the various automatic implants using a consistent setup scanning um, self-made phantom okay it is uh, adapted from the study by Cobb bolster and at all 2017 Objectively, the, our main objective is to evaluate the effectiveness of, of MAR software uh, of a city towards three different types of metal implants met, uh, by comparing the HU values or house free unit values of the region of interest. Again, specifically to compare uh, quantitatively the mean uh, HU number, the standard deviation values, and also the uh, signal to noise ratio values of the region of interest of the phantom using the two different MAR software. In this study, using of the I IMAR and also Smart MAR algorithms, and uh, qualitatively we uh, evaluate the image uh, itself, the different type of image between in between uh, the the CT images of the uh, uh autopilot implants being um been used okay and this is a mention about the what is about the meta artifact in city the uh, regarding mal algorithms and eh, the mar algorithms types of orthopedic meta implants and also effective effect of the mars itself on snr st and also the data number of values itself eh? uh so oh, how we do it then is that um, the phantom in terms of preparation of the phantoms it involves the bone uh, which is the bovine bovine bone yeah? we we have measured it um, and it is in bit, uh, in the range of the thousand issue okay for the normal CT attenuation number okay and then we wrap it with the gelatin that is mimicking the human tissues all right and with the embed uh, embedded of the Orthopedic metal implants eh, that compose of three different types of metal implants, which are the core cronium, cronium, the stainless steel, and as well the titanium with the length and diameter stated here. Okay, the parameters being used are all the same. They make it standard except for the uh, algorithm being used eh, for different type of um, MAR softwares eh, in different in two different institutions. Insti uh, hospitals and we can say and then uh, other than that we also analyze the image qualitatively using the uh, uh, four point Likert skills eh, that adapted for the bonches and all 2015 all right so as a result when compare uh, between the means values mean H values for the Mars reconstruction eh, it's either Mar or smart Mar uh, we can see that there is a uh, collectively um, closer value eh? and, and there is a range within the range but uh, there's also a closer value towards the control image uh, we we decide that the phantom reading for the control image is here and most of it uh, rich most of uh, it uh, rich although it is not all right so uh, in the bold um, 
numbers in the tables it shows that uh, forest dynasty and also titanium uh, is in the range of the uh, control with uh, reader reading okay for the mean h values except for the cobalt chroma chrome cobalt chrome okay and uh, whereby for the soft tissue uh, the cobalt chrome uh, is um, in bit uh, is in the for the soft tissue it uh, in, is in the range uh, with the titanium uh, except for the stainless steel uh, it is close but not uh, too far lah, from the uh, control image values itself okay all right so this is the comparison uh, for the st or standard deviation whereby uh, for ST, the reading is associated with the amount of artifact present in the image, eh, which means that uh, ISA stated uh, 2017 mentioned that high values of the ST reflects a high artifact load, meaning that the higher the values, the more artifact presence there. Uh, then, uh, so, with the SD values here, the use of the both MR reconstruction, uh, we can see the overall improvement uh, in, the, in terms of the image quality on post MR reconstruction compared to without or uh, pre uh, MR uh, uh, being used. Okay, in the graph mentioned here, as well, you can see in the uh, numbering here, eh? we can see the there's a decrease of the SD, meaning that uh, improve of the image. Eh? Although mentioned that um, uh, there is a difference, uh, still uh, they are uh, mm, somewhat not so close to the control image. Eh? This indicate that uh, it's not a uh, mar is entirely um, not entirely being eradicated lah, uh, for the in terms of meta artifacts, uh, but it also depends on the metals geometry itself. Okay. Um, Whereby for the SNR values, the signal to noise ratio uh, for the post and uh, pre and post MAR constructions, eh, we using the Takasi et al. 2021 uh, calculation method and eh, find out for overall images. Uh, post uh, mar reconstruction shows that it's increased eh, increasing eh? Zino, as stated by Zino and all 2018 uh, she said that uh, the higher the SNR value meaning the better the image quality can be obtained this is due to the lower noise being produced as the SNR is inversely proportional to the image noise we can see it, uh, clearly in the tables uh, highlighted uh, um, uh, after using the uh, my reconstruction uh, shows that there is an increase in amount or value of the SNR values. Eh? Okay, all right, it can see be seen uh, in the uh, graph as well. Okay, whereby, okay, before that, uh, this is the one uh, the images that have been shown to the radiologists and also the radiographers experienced more than five years eh, to actually read uh, accordingly uh, and without mentioning uh, the details uh, but have to read according to the criteria being mentioned for for the stated uh, reference of the um, um, criteria being mentioned to be evaluated yeah, uh, involving the cobalt, cobalt chromium uh, stainless steel and also titanium uh, implants okay towards uh, IMA and also SMARTMA okay so find out uh, qualitatively and then to analyzing the image uh, both uh, so all of the response or most of the response uh, to um, to to choose eh, uh, using the Mars construction is being better lah, uh, to project the image okay uh, in this study the smart mar uh, recorded the highest score producing the post mar image of acceptable intrinsic quality okay they they are mostly choose um the stainless steel and uh, titanium images as the um better uh, for the uh, for the mars being used mar software being used right so as a conclusion say you can say that scanning the patients with orthopedic implants using the mar algorithm say it's either uh, imar or smart mar does lessen the duration due to the patients with the use of post scan ct image reconstructions thus to improve the image uh, radiation uh, image uh, sorry improve the overall image quality uh, um, that includes the uh, reducing of the image noise decreasing the artifact presence around the chosen method implant being used in this case mostly it's the stainless steel and titanium and also the adjust adjacent tissues at all right so towards um overall presentation i've been using all the references okay by that thank you very much for listening